Right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are at the airfield and very, very it's very, very cold. We keep saying that, but it is cold and it's yeah. not going to get any warmer. Now, we've got Racing Lines RS3 here. So we, again, are going to do a back-to-back -back stock yeah. um, and a stage one tune, which we're going to flash here. And then we're going to bring you the results of the difference between a stock um, RS3 and obviously a Stage one got RS3. Enough. And look at that. Yes. Live at the airfield. Yeah. It's beautiful. Right. Tammy. Uh, yeah, let's get at it. Let's I get think. at it. Yeah. We've we got someone that's in the car there. Look, he doesn't want to get out and get on camera, but obviously trying to keep nice and toasty and warm. This is Matt Ellis from Racing Line Say OEM hello, Plus. Matt. Say hello, Matt. Hello, everyone. All right. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't like the camera. Right, let's uh, get it on the field um, and let's get it done. Guys, so uh, uh, we've got the racing line, as Mark said, racing line, um, RSV, 8V.2. Um, this is the DNWA engine, so this is the one with um, uh, the OPF installed. Um, so some of you guys, I guess if you're out in the States, you, you guys don't get the OPFs there yet. So it's basically a big, um, particle filter in the exhaust system which is obviously more restrictive than uh, on the likes of, like the Dazza engine um, which just got the, the stock catalyst so um, again so we're going to do as we usually do we're going to do stock um, runs and we're going to do that against uh, a stage one runs so here we go first one up Right, so that was our first stock run done on the Racing Line RS3. I'm just going to say one thing about this car, is this absolutely looks lovely. I love the black and the white contrast on this. Stripe down the side, the wheels, everything about this car. To be fair, I just love RS3s, especially, you know, saloons. So anyway, that's my... Uh, I, I, that is my opinion on that. It's a great car. Right, let's get into the into the figures. So, um, did a couple of runs. What have we got on a stock ECU? Best we did was a 4.070 to 60. Four, so four seconds, 4.07. Four yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and then we did a 12.15 quarter mile at 114 mile an hour. Yep. And then... 100 to 200. 100 to 200, as we say, we will add these into the videos. Yes, um, Habib, please put these into the videos. So 100 to 200 at 10.44 as well. Okay. So let's see what kind of improvement we can make on that. So we've got Matt now, he's just flashing the OEM plus software onto the vehicle. Um, we're in stage one ECU and see what, what we do. Brilliant. We'll come back to you in a short while. Right, for me, this is the big one. Uh, I want to see what this does with the Stage 1 OEM Plus on it um, and see if these times come tumbling down. So, um, I'm just excited because I love these RS3s, as I said earlier. But um, I really hope that this does well and that 0 to 60 comes down and it gets the traction. So, as long as the tyres are semi okay and not cold, which we've just done a little bit of a uh, burnout, uh, well not burnout, but a little bit of a uh, launch just to uh, put a little bit of heat in them. So let's not mess around, let's get straight out there and see if we can get a good time. Right guys, so uh, vehicle flashed. We are flashed with stage one OEM plus ECU software. Um, so what we're gonna do is from a simple stage one tune, just see um, you know what benefits we see over the original times, the original stock times. So here we go. Yeah, lots of traction broke at that point. The tires that are on this car are good tires, great tires, P0 courses, but they need to be hot. 
looking at that getting off the line uh, that was definitely definitely quicker so um, results are in yes. OEM plus stage one okay, so um, start with a zero to 60. give it to me okay so it went from a 4.07 to a 3.45 second so that's in the zero to 60 so beautiful Bernard in um, the quarter mile we went from a 12 point one five. Yep. At 114 mile an hour, down to an 11.46 at 119, 119 mile, mile an hour. hour. So that's really good. Really good. There. And then let's look at the 100 to 200. Speed. Okay, so switch that unit there. 100 to 200. So we we came in stock at 10.44 seconds, and now we're doing that in a 9.21. So a 10.4 to a 9.2. Yeah. Um, on the 100 to 200. 200 so an improvement all around. And not forgetting, every time we're doing this, we're back to back to back to back. The, you know, it's relentless. Everyone's getting hot. You know, so always the stop runs first. Yep. The car's getting hot. So, you know, it, it's you know, like I say before, you my driving. You know, but you know, someone else spent a bit of time getting used to the car, a um, bit of ECU adaptions and things like that. You'd start seeing improvements and improvements as you went along. You'll blame it on my driving. I always blame it on his driving. But at the end of the day, we're here to just test product straight away yeah. on the day within half an hour, 20 minutes of flashing the car and yeah, we're straight yeah, back out yeah. again. And, you know, it speaks for itself. So thanks very much uh, for tuning in to this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to press the ding-a-ling. And uh, see you soon.